This is probably by far one of the most intense things I think I've ever done. Oh god. Oh god. This is intense. Alright, well, off to the top. Wow, I'm sure you guys won't be able to guess we were, where we are inside right now. As you can see behind, there's a chalkboard because we are inside a school. We've been striking a lot of schools lately, such as middle schools, high schools, all of it. But today we are inside the school. The thing is, I don't know any history on it. So we're just gonna kind of see what we can see. Unfortunately, let's just explore, show you guys what we got here and, and tune in for the excitement. So while we just stepped out of the school, we're making an approach over here to another side of the hallway. Let's take a look to see what we could come across as we adventure through these hallways based upon what explorers like we can see. So the thing that I love about these schools is preserved history. Like literally, walking to this, this used to be a whole classroom for people, like a whole classroom. And then over time, things just become a part like this, decayed, rotten in, and this is how it looks over the time as things come by. I guess the first start to our adventure is heading into the basement. So we just seen the classrooms, we had an idea how the classrooms look, now we're walking to the basement, and basically this is how it's gonna become. I'm with Danny, by the way. So Explore with Danny. Be sure to subscribe to him. <laughs> My lips are like frozen. I like I can't even talk. It's cold out here. Yeah. I don't blame you. Ooh, look at this. This is like the ice, the freezers, basically. So that's a freezer where they put like a lot of like storages of food, I believe. I mean, students aren't really allowed to go into the basement of the school, so here's a good idea. It's a lot of storage of like you know hardware that people have just lying around here. Like tools, you know, utilities, all of that. I might have said rotten metal, I meant rusted. My bad, English grammar. Damn, check out this desk though. That's a nice desk, just lying right there. Seems like this person had like a little jar of theirs. It's a little special jar, you know? Okay, now that, that is pretty sick. That's the huge furnace they have down here. This is really what sticks out to me, I mean, these things are old technology, so, but way back in the time, they, they had to have like these huge furnaces to heat up this entire building. I'm talking these are enormous. So the thing about this place is that all of these rooms, they're all like repetitive, so they all look the same, which is why we're walking through, we're kind of seeing things, I mean, a lot of this emptied out, but... A lot of, some rooms look different, like this one looks pretty cool, it's a huge room. Could have been the cafeteria, to be honest with you. Basically, all the students would sit here. Literally, they would sit, like, had tables all sat, set up all around them. And then they would probably get their food right over there, pointing inside there where they kind of, like, receive the food. Because this is where they do all the cooking. So it kind of goes in that order, you know? Feed the people, get the food, make the food. Let's continue on. This face wants to really like the color blue. I mean, look at this. There's blue all over the place. The way the hallways look, the doors. Alright, we're on the second floor now. The second floor really sticks out to me. Like, the way this entire area looks is really cool. I mean, look at how, like, the room looks. It looks a lot more, like, ele elegant, you know? Like, it's more... It has like more of like a, yeah, I'm an upper class level, so I'm up here. Cause literally when I look in this room, I could kind of have like that weird, like a feeling of that. I'm also stepping into the actual like hallways and damn. I like the lighting just because, you know, there's not much light that goes through. There's only light coming from each of the classrooms. So when you see the sunlight come by, it just goes like that, in and out, in and out. And it just goes all the way down, which delivers a really cool, darker appearance to it. When I was in high school, I used to have like so much like energy, you know, like the entire school used to be so lit and everyone used to have so much like random parties and you know, all of this used to be so live. I'm sure it was probably exactly how it was when I was in school. But now as I look around, everything is just thoroughly dead, quiet. I can't have my own echoes going through this entire school. This is probably the only like thing that actually remains here still that's part of like technology. This really old Samsung TV. 
you guys can tell that this must have been a really old school if they had a TV like this. I'm telling you, that's pretty old technology, you know? One of the biggest things I really do love about the school is the fact that everything is just so well preserved. I, mean, I keep saying it all the time, but it's rare. It's so rare to find things like this where there's no vandalization, there's no destruction. It's just this place left as was. I mean, I'm sure over time a lot of things start falling off, like the wheel, the wallpaper starts to peel off, like things just start falling from the ground, the ceiling starts to break apart. But I mean, after so many years, things can only stand for so long without any refurbishing or anything. So far down there, you can kind of see Danny in the distance in the auditorium. He's doing his own thing all the way down there. Let's get down there right now. This is a this is a massive gym. That's what I like about the gym. Yes, nice. Yeah, it's like it's so clean, like well preserved. I like how casual it is to look at the auditorium with like the blankets on the side with the coloring. I mean, that, ty that type of blue is my type of blue, so I actually really like it. So when you're on the top over here at the auditorium, you, you know, you have like the whole crowd just watching you. Like for me, back in the day, I used to break dance. I still break dance. I used to still do a lot of performances though. So when I was on stage, <laughs> when I was on stage, <laughs> I was up here, I was putting on a whole show for people. So like right here, think about it. Right here you have a whole audience. Like picture like Christian and Danny being a whole entire audience and me right here put a whole show for like everyone all right there. I mean I've done shows for like massive amounts of people. But you know, there are times when you get the stage fright, you know, you get like the stage fright where you get a lot of people coming like staring at you as you're doing your, your thing. And then you kind of get nervous. I actually knocked out on one of my videos, breakdancing before, right on stage. It was so bad, it's in one of my previous videos, so be sure to check out one of my other school videos. So, according to Danny, up here is like a whole storage room, right Danny? Yep, right up there. So basically, they would supply, they would supply, they would put all the school supplies, like all, like whatever they need, all the way up here, and no students could really get to it. So we're just gonna go check it out. I mean, I'm sure there's nothing up here, but looks cool, let's go. So you're coming up here just to provide me with a light, Danny? Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Alright. I'm sure there's a lot more things here before, but all these are probably just miscellaneous things remaining that they didn't really care too much about. I thought this was pretty cool to show. It's like a whole house. You know, like those doll houses? This is like a whole house set up right here, which is really sick. It's all made out of wood and everything. But anyway, this is like, you know, this is a storage room. They have a whole, like, house right there set up. Pretty cool, I say. Pretty cool. Gonna make my way back down. So <laughs> let's get back down. So this is like a hallway, a connector to the next part of the school, which was where I originally began off. And I guess I got too sidetracked. I'm with Danny right now. We're just gonna move our way in. I like the art style on the wall. I guess it's something new to add, add to it. So Danny, you had something good to point out. All right. So if you notice, when John was upstairs, you see lockers on the side of the room. That means it was probably a high school. And I'm always saying this because. You see how this, look, does it look like a high school would paint this? <laughs> I believe this was elementary school. They have coat hangers and all that. Only kids have that stuff, you know? So, there's also the middle school back where the lunchroom was. This place is pretty much all rounder. Every, every type of kid was in here. Wow. I guess that explains like the whole appearance. You know how I point out when you go to the top for a part, it looks more like, you know, like, how can I explain it? More higher class. Than the bottom parts and then when you go to the bottom parts it looks so much more like different and then you come over here it's a wider classroom the hallways are thinner but there's no lockers they all have coat hangers and they all have like a two chalkboards and you know this cool art style that's such a good thing to point out danny all right so the cool spot to this is that this right here this massive room is like the secondary gym and this gym is for like, you know, underage students, like you, like un under younger students. Basically, this is st still part of the preschool side. Some pretty old school newspapers I'd see lying around the ground too. We're with the squad. <laughs> So we gotta watch our step going right here. Like any any time this thing, when you step on the other part, it could collapse through. So guys, be careful. <laughs> that is one damn sketchy ladder. You are crazy for climbing up that. This is probably by far one of the most intense things I think I've ever done. Oh god. Oh god. This is intense. All right. Well, 
off to the top I'm not much of a guy to scream to say that I'm very scared but in the inside I'm really really scared right now I'm at the toppest point of the school here's the outside it's a nice view of like the mountains and everything but I'm not gonna stay up for so long so I'll give you guys like an overview of how <laughs> it was this is intense don't think I'm ever gonna do this ever again don't ever try this if you ever see something like this people could easily die and I could just simply die God, it's such a challenge. I overcame it. When I went to the open elementary wing in the, the morning, I noticed that the bathrooms did not have paper towels, toilet paper. They also had running down sinks, and they were not cleaned well. This is a duty for the janitor. Clean all upstairs rooms, halls, designated stairs as assigned. Cleaning duties, dry mop, all rooms, all of that just goes down. This is all of his duties, all put into one paper. Wow, that really stuck out to me. I mean, think about all this document showcases how old the school is, who, like the students, the complaints, all of that that was going down. That could kind of give up to a reason why the school is now abandoned to this day. Wow, God, that was such a challenging experience. I mean, Christian, today, what did you guys think about going up to that bell tower? Well, the bell tower was the absolute scariest part of my entire Christian, adventure. I was shit myself, literally. I mean, I've been adventuring for a little while now, and... Sure, your first few adventures, Danny, how was it for you? Alright, the thing is, is that you only live once. As urban explorers, this is our job to capture anything within our eyes, whether there's nothing up there or not. That's what we did up there, and I let these guys borrow my strength. Take it. <laughs> I did, so, like... You can tell how intense it was as you watch them go up. I mean, the entire thing is shaking. But, you know, the thing about my goal for 2017, I'm sure it's the same for them. I want to feel challenged. I want to make myself feel like I'm out the comfort zone. And which is why I did it. So I, I took my chances. I got to the top. I went to the top. Didn't know if there was really much of a cool view, but screw it. I need to feel challenged. Anyway, guys, this entire school was a really cool experience. I, I was honestly surprised that they had the high school, the middle school, the elementary school, all in one school. Can you imagine all these little kids and older people all in one school just like going out and going at the same time? I mean, as Danny said, there might be a lot of bullies around here. Yeah. <laughs> one last thing I do want to bring up to you guys. So from what I've been told that a lot of YouTubers don't get a lot of subscriptions or more, or if their subscribers don't get notifications. Well, I guess there's like this new thing that YouTube brought up. It's like this bell button. So if you want notifications from my channel, here's a screenshot. Click on this bell button and you'll be able to be sure you'll be able to get all the subscriptions. You'll be able to get all the notifications that you want from my videos. So be sure to be sure to do that guys and you can have more exploring videos, adventures, vlogs, you name it, I have it. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in.